Hello everybody, uh, I'm Mattia Bassotti and this is my thesis work I made with uh, Raffaele Silvani and Giovanni Carlotti as uh, supervisor from University of uh, Perugia. And uh, here we treat um, the micromagnetic uh, study of spin wave area modes of three different systems. So the systems are three and are the isolated skirmion the twin skirmions, so a couple of uh, interacting skirmions, and a skirmion chain made up of 71 uh, units. And here we can see the skirmion, so the, that is this uh, uh, topologically protected uh, spin structure stabilized in uh, thin films, as in, in this case, by uh, the geology skin moria um, interaction of uh, interfacial kind. And um, here we can see the out of plane uh, magnetization uh, in, that we had simulated. So, for these three different systems, uh, we classify we classify and study the spin wave modes. So, uh, through the spatial profiles, a snapshot of the ma magnetization, and uh, concerning the ischemian chain, also the spatial times. And second goal uh, was to uh, perform a methodological study, so to um, uh, study the uh, evolution of the frequency of these modes, of the modes found, as a function of the zeologist Moria constant, B, and the exchange constant, A. Okay, about the methods we adopted, we used the MUMAX3 as a software, uh, is a GPU based software, so we use the quite performant uh, graphic card. And uh, here we can see the, um, um, the uh, simulated area uh, for the one skirmion system. So uh, we divided it uh, in uh, two regions uh, uh, region one, central one, where we nucleated the skirmion with the typical parameter of uh, um, uh, iron cobalt. And uh, we simulated also a second region, that uh, region two, that includes the first one and with typical parameters of uh, samarium cobalt. And uh, region two has the role uh, um, to prevent skirmion from touching the edge of the simulated area, so uh, to enhance the stabilization of the system. And um, so, uh, because the simulation happens at uh, zero Kelvin uh, temperature, we excited uh, the modes uh, uh, applying uh, an external field path, uh, sink shaped. So we um, excited all the frequencies up to a frequency of 50 gigahertz. And finally, the software solves the landau lifshitz gilbert equation. Um, at each cell, so using the uh, parallel calculus ability of the graphic card, uh, and every 10 picoseconds. And um, okay, here we have the, um, uh, the two sets of simulations we performed. So the first set, we kept fixed the exchange constant, and we varied the zeologist schemoria constant in this quite realistic uh, range. And in the second set, vice versa, we kept fixed the geology schemoria constant and we uh, change the exchange constant in this range. So for the isolated skirmion, uh, here we have uh, a spectrum obtained uh, at this uh, couple of uh, this couple of uh, values of the D and A, geology schemoria and exchange constant. And uh, a spectrum obtained uh, uh, from the uh, sum of the uh, fast Fourier transform of the outer plane magnetization at each cell. Okay, we have uh, three different uh, peaks, so corresponding to three different modes that we named uh, uh, counterclockwise, breathing, and clockwise. So the counterclockwise, as we can see from the phase of the special profile, is an um, azimuthal kind mode where the, um, the phase, because the phase is, um, depends on the azimuthal angle and is concentrated in this uh, um, ring-shaped yellow uh, region. 
The breathing mode uh, is uh, a radial kind mode, so the phase is constant uh, all over the simulated uh, area. In this case, one the one screen. Um, finally, the counter clock the clockwise mode is similar to the counterclockwise, so it's an azimuthal mode, but with opposite direction of uh, propagation. Okay, now we have another point of view um, uh, of the three of these uh, three modes. So the out of plane magnetization in time, and we have if I play the video, okay, we have at the left the total out of plane magnetization, while at there on the right the dynamic components. So here, for example, sorry, here it goes down. Here, for example, um, from the dynamic component of the breathing mode, we can see, uh, so, sorry, from the total component, we can see this expansion, contraction um, behavior of the mode, characteristics that a characteristic of these uh, radial modes. And uh, while, for example, from here, from the dynamic component of the uh, azimuthal kind mode, we can see the opposite direction uh, of propagation of the spin wave in this uh, in the schema. Okay, now we can see the um, the collection of the spectra uh, here ordered in uh, as a function of the zeology schemoria constant on the left and uh, uh, the exchange constant on the right. So here we can see the evolution of the frequency of the modes as a function of these two constants. And um, here we can also see another uh, uh, mode that is an high order uh, of high order uh, with respect to the modes found before and uh, is uh, um, of a counterclockwise fashion, so is an azimuthal mode as we can see from the uh, phase of the special profile. Of the two, because it has two poles along the azimuthal uh, direction. And we can also see this counter trend of this uh, high order mode, um, both on the left and on the right, uh, with respect to the low order modes. At the bottom, we um, there are the plots of the schermion diameter as a function of these uh, two constants. So, as we expected, the sides of the schermion calculated as the schermion diameter um, increase, increases for increasing the value of the zeology schemoria constant while um, it uh, decreases for increasing values of the exchange constant. Okay, we can go on with, uh, with the twin schermion system. Um, similar to what we have so before, we have the spectrum obtained at these two fix the uh, constant value. And uh, we can see that now the number of modes uh, is double with respect to the previous simulation, so with respect to the single skirmion. And this is because the, um, the two skirmions are interacting with each other. Uh, so the system behaves like a, a coupled uh, um, oscillator system. So we have, um, for example, the breathing now it has the asymmetric and the symmetric counterparts. So in the asymmetric breathing, the two skirmions oscillate out of phase, while in the symmetric breathing, the two skirmions oscillate in phase. And also here we can see the um, evolution of the frequency as a function of the zeology schemoria constant. So we can see um, also the, the um, grow of the splitting of the difference in frequency between the symmetric and asymmetric counterparts uh, that uh, increases for increasing value of the bit. Okay, we can um, go on with the schermion chain finally. Um, for this system, as we can see, we excited only the central skirmion with an autoplane uh, magnetic pulse. And uh, here there are uh, four plots uh, corresponding to four different values 
of the GLOG scheme of Yacosta. So we can 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5 Joulon square meter, a fixed value of the exchange constant. So um, uh, we can see the formation of the energy bands, of course, and uh, alternated with the forbidden gaps of energy. Um, so this demonstrates that the scheme and chain behaves like a one-dimensional uh, magnetic uh, crystal. So the um, excitation that the, we gave here, uh, it, um, it uh, disperses uh, uh, along the chain, propagates along the chain. Okay, we were able to associate uh, uh, these energy bands with the previously found uh, modes uh, by means of the special profile phases. So here we can see, for example, the, the um, phases uh, for the uh, central 12 skirmions instead of the, the entire chain for simplicity and uh, of the um, uh, corresponding to the clockwise and the breathing uh, um, uh, modes bands. Uh, okay, uh, obtained at fixed uh, weight vector and uh, frequency in this case. Um, if we enhance the geology Morilla constant, we can see some uh, phenomena of uh, hybridization between the bands. So, well, for example, here uh, between the high order counterclockwise and the low order clockwise uh, um, uh, modes, or here between the high order counterclockwise and the breathing mode. So here the um, the character of the energy band is not uh, unique anymore, but we can find the breathing character at the edge, in this case, at the edge of the balloon zone, while at the center we have uh, much more um, counterclockwise uh, uh, two um, character. Okay, we can also see the evolution as a function of D, of the amplitude of these bands, the evolution of the energy gaps and the um, opposite sign of the dispersion curves between the uh, radial modes, um, the breathing one, um, with respect to the azimuthal uh, modes, the clockwise uh, or counterclockwise ones. Um, and this is because of the dipolar interaction between the, the skirmions. So oh, finally, we have found the three main modes of the low world and one of high world in the frequency range that we investigated. We have seen the splitting of the modes in asymmetric and asymmetric counterparts. And finally, in the schemion chain that is uh, that represents a one-dimensional magnetic crystal, we have seen the um, formation of energy bands and uh, uh, energy gaps. Um, with some interesting uh, abilitization or anti-crossing phenomena between uh, bands and this opposite sign of the dispersion curves uh, between azimuthal and radial modes. As a uh, perspective, uh, we, we, we are thinking to adapt this study to more realistic and complex uh, ferromagnetic samples like for example the, um, the multi-layer where skimions are found to be stable even at the room temperature that promises uh, some interesting uh, applications. It's also interesting to develop uh, uh, theoretical models for the um, for a better understanding of the frequency evolution of these modes like, for example, the counter trend between the uh, high order and the low order uh, uh, motor modes. And uh, finally, it is also, it could be also an interesting challenge uh, um, to have an idea of how organized periodical skirmion systems, but of course in uh, real samples, because it could be useful in view of the um, application, like, for example, the restrict uh, memory that these uh, skirmions uh, promises to web. Uh, so thank you very much for the attention, for watching, and uh, see you later.